I'm on a lifelong journey to create a unique sandbox where every decision is the right one. This is the diary of another attempt. So the first, so the first try was the game Hello Neighbor. You might have heard of it. A game where you sneak into your neighbor's house, guarded by AI that learns from your actions. That learns from your actions. Okay. Uh, even though the game did well, it was only a fractions, a fractions. It was only a fraction of what was originally envisioned. Being first game, it had its quirks. With each new iteration, I tried to figure out the approach. So there was late night shift, known as hello guest. The, the. Uh, the early alphas of Hello Neighbor 2 and the lesser known stuff like Rumble on the Meal and The Empty. In the most recent attempt in the search of a sandbox, I asked myself, can it be a multiplayer game? With the help of a designer, we built something that was destined to become Hello Neighbor 3, an RBO prototype. A game where you invade other players' houses, steal their stuff and reinforce your own house to prevent them from doing the same. By the way, RBO stands for Ravenbrooks Online. To take a next step and make it a full game, we reached out to great people at Irrigate Studios for help. Funny thing, there was a catch. None of us developed an online game before. We started to working on a game, codename RBO, building its world, mechanics, and figure out if it works at all. Along the way, we shifted from competitive to cooperative gameplay, where friends team up against AI instead of fighting each other. Idea was to eliminate toxicity that might happen while playing against random people and focus on a journey, rather than destination. <laughs> As we dove deeper into development, we started to realize that we might not be able to pull this off in a reasonable amount of time. That's when I remembered an advice we had from a team of experienced online developers. They said, They said, don't do it seriously. At the time, it didn't sound like a great advice. But the question arises, what should we do? And most importantly, what can we do? There was one thing we could change. Make it a single player game. Okay, so here's the idea. You find yourself in a half-abundant town in the middle of nowhere. Yep, ripping roofs. Events unfold right before your eyes. If you decide to intervene, everything can be changed. Because every character is driven by parameters and systems. In the next episode, I'll tell you more about our progress on Hell Neighbor 3, its world, atmosphere, and the next prototype stage we're currently working on. I hope we'll be able to make this elusive sandbox before 